it's what was it, you know, historically, a four to six week process, and then it went down to a four to six day process. And then people were meeting with you one day and saying they're closed the next. Were you did you feel like over the last couple of years, people were doing proper diligence or not? Uh, and what impact did diligence have on any of this? You know, I, I certainly, I, I can't speak to what our competitors were doing. I don't think our diligence process changed much. We would just have a mentality of when there was a deal that was urgent, we would drop everything and focus on that deal and get our work done. And it can be done quickly. Uh, although it's easier for SaaS companies, because the metrics that you're looking at are so standardized. It, it's just a uh, it's an easier process. What's you're, the you're most important thing in diligence? In your mind, what is the like bullet that like people can't, the silver bullet thing people can't fake? Probably off-sheet customer references. So the, the first thing we do is focus on the on the metrics, right? And the, the financials, the SaaS metrics, all that kind of stuff. But then you want to talk to customers and you want to understand the value they're getting out of the product. And ideally, they're off-sheet customers. Explain what off-sheet Off-sheet means. just means that, you know, you frequently ask a founder to give you customer references, those are on-sheet references. The off-sheet references are the ones that you find yourself that they never gave you. So like the easiest off-sheet references to do are when your own portfolio companies are using some other like piece of software and they tell you about it. So no, you know, it's a totally non-conflicted situation. So th that's what you're looking for. So one of your companies is using Stripe. They tell you how great Stripe is. They tell you what's good yes. about it, what's bad about it. But right. references you're giving. So it's sort of like backdoor references. If somebody tells you, here's yeah. my references. And, and you can do the same thing on founders too. You can have on-sheet and off-sheet references for founders. And you can do it for VCs. Yeah. But, but look, I think, um, I think it's probably a little bit unfair to blame the board of this company too much because the reality is that VCs don't have the leverage or the power in this business. I mean, it's found this, this whole construction of the industry is set up around founders. And at the end of the day, it's up to the founder to run the company and they get to do what they want unless they do something criminal. Otherwise, they're going to be able to do whatever they want. And I, boards, I disagree. Hold on. Board, boards generally are very deferential to founders. And if the founder's not willing to listen to advice, what are you going to do about that?